Yeah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing this makeup look. It is going to be a full face and it also is going to be a talk through. I've been doing a lot of voiceovers lately and I just felt like doing a talk through. This video, my camera literally hates me. It has taken me a while to get the focus in and it would go in focus and then it would go out of focus. So if you notice any of that or notice any of my frustration coming through, that is why. But this makeup is just going to be like a more sexy, um, sultry kind of makeup. And the reason that I'm doing this is because where I am 19, it's fixing to be 20, and with braces, I have always been told I looked young, which isn't a bad thing because when I get older, I hope I still look young. But I am constantly told, you are cute, you look so cute today. And some of us, if you've been in that same boat, you kind of just don't want to look cute all the time. You just want to look more mature and just more sexy and you just want to feel more confident. And just with an eye look like this, I just feel more confident and more sexy. So that is where this inspiration came from. Um, also, my eye color is green and this totally makes my eyes pop. So if you have green or hazel eyes, this is just going to complement them so well. And yeah, I really like it. I hope you guys do too. And give, your, give me your feedback after this video. After the long intro, let's get into the video. To start off, I'm going to be priming my eyes and I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Now normally I use the uh, Max Painterly Paint Bot paint pot but I'm just trying to like mix it up. I'm just going to put like a small amount and apply that on my eyes. Um, it's very important when you're doing a dramatic look just to put a eye primer on because you don't want it to crease or mess up and you want the color payoff to be at its best. So I'm just going to apply that and make sure when you do an eye primer don't apply the eyeshadow right after because you need to let it dry and set that way it definitely doesn't crease. So I'm just going to apply that on my lid and a little bit under because I am going to be putting some shadow under there. So next I'm going to be doing my foundation. Normally when I'm doing a dramatic look, I usually do the eyes first, but this isn't really much. I mean it is dramatic, but there's not a lot of fallout. There's not a lot of product going on. It's really easy. So that's why I'm doing the foundation first. And of course, just like your eyes, you need to prime your skin. And I'm using the Baby Skin, the Instant Pore Eraser. So I'm just going to do a small amount of that as well and apply it onto my like T-zone area. And this just helps smooth out. I have been using this for a while and I really like it. I have yet to use the um, Benefits Professional, but this does the job, so why not just use it? For foundation, I have been loving the All May Clear Complexion uh, Makeup. This is in the color, great, oh, Beige 240, and I'm using my Sigma F80. Um, this foundation, honestly, I had it in my drawer, and I go through phases where I just get bored of using the foundation that I'm using, so I will just like pick up a random foundation that I haven't used in forever, and when I picked this up, I absolutely loved it. I will have to say that um, it really hasn't broke me out at all. Honestly, if anything, it's made my skin more clear. And then I'm just going to buff it in with my brush. I always have like the same routine. I start at one cheek and then go to the other. And always blend it down to your neck. Normally, I would take the foundation and put it on my lid, but um, where I already put the eye primer, I'm not going to do that. Um, just if I'm doing like a normal eye look, I don't use an eye primer just because, you know, it's not dramatic and it's not a big deal if it creases or not. And yes, I am extremely pale, so... You know, during the winter, I have actually, like, strayed away from going to the tanning bed, so I'm really proud of myself, but it just kind of sucks being pale. 
Okay, so for concealer, I love concealer. As you can tell, I have dark under eye circles, so I use the Instant Age Rewind Eraser for dark circles. This is in the color um, Light Pale, and I just kind of go crazy with this because the brush that I use to um, blend it out just soaks up the extra, so you can kind of go crazy and not feel bad about it. So, of course, I always put it under my eyes, kind of like in an upside down uh, triangle. Then I'm also going to apply um, the concealer on my cupid's bow, the lines around my mouth, and my forehead. Just because the concealer is so light, I just don't want it to be so bright under my eyes and nowhere else. So, next I'm using my F86 to blend that out. I got this brush for Christmas, and I am completely completely obsessed with it. It is absolutely the best brush you will ever use to blend out your concealer because it just blends it in. It doesn't really take so much product away where you have to reapply your concealer, but it just soaks up the extra that you don't need and it is just amazing. And the reason I do put the concealer around my mouth is because I do have throughout the day um, those lines that tend to crease around my mouth just because I make a lot of facial expressions and do a lot of talking where I'm at work usually. So that's the reason for that. To set it, I use my F35 Tapered Highlighter and my NYX um, Finishing Powder in the translucent color. Like I've said in past videos, this is not my favorite translucent powder. For some reason, I just feel like it takes away the brightness of the concealer once I put it on. But it's really only the, well, I do have more translucent powders, but, you know, I'm still looking for a good one. At this point, I don't do my, con or my blush and bronzer yet because I do like the foundation to set because I don't want the bronzer to come off choppy. So this is when I go and do my eyes. So, let's get started. So, the eyeshadow that is the star of this makeup look is Coco Bear, and it is by Makeup Geek. This eyeshadow is the perfect reddish brown, and I do love this look because where I have green eyes, it just brings them out even more. So, if you do have green eyes, this is just going to make them pop. So, this eye look is so simple, and it still makes you feel just sexy. And what I use is just, you can just use any brush, and I just apply that all over the lid. What I do to apply the shadow is I just put it all over the lid. As you can see, this eyeshadow is absolutely gorgeous, and just how pigmented it is, is crazy. Just for the price that you can get these eyeshadows at. Okay, the next eyeshadow I take is Sable from the Laurent Pro Palette. This is just going to be a blending color. So I'm just going to take that crease and I'm going to slowly start blending it up. I just don't want there to be any harsh lines and I just want it to be like a soft fade up to the brow bone. But once you get closer to the brow bone, you don't want to go all the way because you are going to put a highlight shade. Next color I'm going to take is Espresso, also from the Lorac Pro Palette. This is a dark brown, so we're just going to deepen up the crease just to give it a little bit more dimension so it's not just one color. And I just like to mainly keep that in the outer V and just slowly bring it in. This is just going to give it more of that smoky look. For the highlight shade, I'm using the Vanilla Bean, also from Makeup Geek, and I just apply that to a flat shader brush and put that directly on my brow bone. Next, 
next I'm just going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to apply that same cocoa bear color underneath my um, or on my lower lash line. I always do this no matter what look I'm doing. It just brings the look together and it just makes it look even more smoky and sexy. And if you want to, I like to add the espresso color, the dark brown, also on the outer um, lower half of my lash line, just so it also um, is bringing that other color in. So it's not just the reddish brown. It is care You have to be careful when you're using reddish or pink undertone eyeshadows on your eye, just because you don't want it to give the look that you have a <laughs> pink eye or anything like that. We don't want that. I'm going to be using eyeliner and of course I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Slim. Originally when I first did this look I did it with a wing but since it is kind of more dramatic I don't want to take away from it so I normally just do a thin line on the upper lash line. course we can't forget mascara so I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm just going to apply a couple of coats and if you wanted to apply false lashes at this point you could that's going to enhance the look even more but just because I'm not a big fan of fake eyelashes I'm just not going to apply them normally I would only wear those unless I was like going to an event after the eyes are done, we are going to fill in our brows. This is so important when you have a dramatic uh, eye look because the brows kind of frame your face and this is doing just going to pull it together even more. I'm just, as always, using my Lorac Pro Palette and a angled brush. I just use a dark brown. You can use any dark brown or whatever eyeshadow that matches your eye. I found this just using an eyeshadow makes the um, eyebrows look even more natural wherever you're filling them in. Now that I have the brows and all the eyes done, we are going to finish the face. For bronzer, what else? Of course, the Hoola, and I'm using my small MAC um, 168 angled brush, and I'm just going to do a couple pats and apply that. With this look, I love a contour, contour, contour just because it brings the warmth of the look together. And if you are pale like me, you can just use bronzer to just warm up the face. Then I'm going to also do it on my forehead just to bring that all together so it doesn't just look dark on the sides of my face. The only thing I will have to say when I do contour on my forehead and on the sides of my temples, I do tend to break out um, in those areas. If you have any recommendations of what to use there that doesn't break you out, let me know or if there's a technique I need to do where it doesn't do that because I have a really big problem with that. Now that we've warmed up our skin a little, I'm going in with blush. And my favorite, favorite blush to use with this look is definitely a Coastal Scents um, blush. This is the Coastal Scents uh, 10 blush palette. And the one I'm using is this right here. It is almost the exact color of the eyeshadow we used. But what I love about it is I put it right over the contour. And it just darkens it up even more. And it's just gorgeous. And it just pulls the look together completely. Finally for the lips, this is my favorite lip combo at the moment. And what I use for my lip liner is the Victoria's Secret Lip Liner in Soft Rose. After I line my lips, I'm wearing the Maybelline Blushing Beige Lipstick. 
and this is just going to add some more dimension to the lip color just because I've got the soft rose and then the um, nude color on the middle. Since I have small lips, I like to make my lips look bigger and this is just going to help. And to top it off, I'm using the NARS lip gloss in Niagara and I'm just going to apply that on top. That was the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do try it out, always, always um, tag me in your pictures and I would love, love to see them. And yeah, just comment down below your next video suggestions because I would love to hear them. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel. We're almost to a thousand guys, so let's grow this family even more. And I would love to meet more of you and get to know more of you and just have a huge, big YouTube family where I can just meet all of you and hug you and thank you for your support. So I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!